My name is Bindi Cole Chocker and I'm a Melbourne-based artist and curator. I work primarily in photography, video and installation and I was um, a part of the exhibition titled Shadow Life in 2012 and 2013 that toured throughout Asia. Shadow Life was curated by John Mundine and Natalie King. I think when John and Natalie asked me to um, to have my work included in their show Shadow Life, I was just so excited that it was going beyond our Australian shores and that it would be seen by a number of different communities, uh, particularly Asian communities, as I think that there is a real connection there with Australia and, and with Indigenous cultures. and. Um, but for the best part, I think I was just really wrapped that I had the opportunity to have my work shown in an international setting and, and be included in such an awesome show. I think that Shadow Life overall was so well received. I spoke to so many people who just felt like it was an interesting and great show and one that the community there could really connect with and sink their teeth into. The works that I took over there were uh, a series called Not Really Aboriginal, which was about, which was portraits of myself and my family in blackface. Uh, and they were looking at the idea of uh, what is a stereotypical Aboriginal person. So are they somebody with very dark skin, living in a certain area, or is there a really wide breadth and range of Aboriginal people in Australia today? I think the artwork that in particular that I presented um, can be perceived in so many different ways but Indigenous identity and the politics around that tend to cross barriers and so once you are able to unpack those types of artworks those stories can touch communities either here or overseas and that was true for um, for Shadow Life and my particular work, Not Really Aboriginal, in, uh, in Singapore. One of the works that was included in Shadow Life was um, a video that I made called 70 Times 7, which is a video of seven Aboriginal community members repeating the mantra, I forgive you, over and over until a shift occurs. I made it as a response to my own personal experience of forgiveness in my life and how that has enabled me to step from being the victim to my circumstances into somebody who overcomes them and, and into a victor position and then also um, as a response to the apology that Kevin Rudd offered a number of years ago. I forgive you. 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 I forgive you.